Hello, my name is Miss Green, and I'll be reading The Librarian from the Black Lagoon for you today by Mike Thaler. Mike Thaler is an award-winning author and children's illustrator who believes writing and riddles are the most useful tools to stimulate children's awareness of language and its creative use. I work in a library, and it's one of the most amazing places for children to be, for anyone for that matter. And that is why I chose this book, because it's humorous, but at the same time, it has a great lesson in it. That you shouldn't fear the unknown, because it could be something wonderful. In this case, the unknown was the librarian and the library. The Librarian from the Black Lagoon by Mike Thaler. Today, our class is going to the library. We've been hearing some really scary things about the place. The library is somewhere behind the boiler room. It's called Media Center of the Earth. Mrs. Beamster is the librarian. The kids call her the laminator. They say she laminates you if you talk in the library. She also has a library assistant named Igor. You know you're getting close to the library by the signs on the wall. No talking beyond this point. No whispering beyond this point. No breathing beyond this point. They say you are allowed to stay in the library as long as you can hold your breath. Some kids last as long as a minute. That doesn't include the time in the decontamination room. There you put on hairnets and rubber gloves. Next, you have to go through the gum detector. Empty your pocket. Bzzz. Once you're finally in the library, you can't actually check out books. In fact, you can't take them off the shelves. To keep books in alphabetical order, Mrs. Beamster bolts them together. Also, they say, the shelves are electrified. Zip! If you twist your neck and squint, you can read the spines. Everyone says the part, best part of a library visit is story time. All the kids stand at attention while Mrs. Beamster reads one of the cards from the card catalog. Or, if you catch her in a very good mood, she'll recite the Dewey, Dewey Decimal System by heart. They say Mrs. Beamster has a crush on Mr. Dewey and that she carries his picture in a lead locket around her neck. She also has rubber stamps on the soles of her shoes and whatever she steps it says overdue she seems to have ears in the back of her neck in the back of her head if she catches you whispering if she catches you whispering you are laminated They say she puts glue on all the chairs so if so you won't wiggle. Then she shows you slides of all her vacations since 1902. She goes to the same place every year, the Library of Congress. Mrs. Beamster also sus subscribes to three magazines. The Mortician's Monthly, the complete pamphlet of zip codes, and Spots Illustrated, 
the magazine for clean or laundry. These you do get to read. But stay away from her plants. They are Venus fly traps. And don't pet the animals in the petting zoo, which contains a piranha and a porcupine. Don't go near her computer either. It uses a real mouse. Well, it's time to go. As we get near the library, there are lots of signs. Books are fun. Books are joy. We spray for bookworms. Welcome. We march right in and sit down in the little chairs. These must be the ones without glue. Mrs. Beamster comes over with an armful of books and puts them on our table. Hello, kids, children, she says. Hello, Mrs. Beamster. Then she smiles and hands me one. It's a book of knock-knock jokes. And she says, I saved this one for you. Whoa. Knock-knock, who's there? Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes a nice place to be. Well, I'm going to love the library. The end.